this time around, I have something that I haven't seen and Carlos has seen. Yes. And we're going to be watching the trailer for the new Warner Bros. Multiverse video game. Boy Joseph here. And Carlos. And this is The, the Passenger Sea. Welcome back, writers, to another week in the passenger seat. We're going to be watching the trailer for the new Warner Bros. Multiverse video game. Essentially, for those of you who have seen it and for how I explained to Joseph before, it's sort of like, like Cartoon Network's version of Smash Bros. Like, it's essentially what it is. Yes. And uh, he, he hasn't seen the trailer, so we're <laughs> going to take a look. For those of you out there in excitement, getting his uh, interpretation of it, let's... Let's see. Yes. <laughs> it's so, funny. As always, let's just hop right into it. Strange oh, here we go. Okay. This gets taken away. Computer, what's my location? Computer. <laughs> that voice. Oh, Shaggy. <laughs> what's going on here? <laughs> Oh, that's a tough opponent, actually. Where am I? What the heck What's is this? I have don't recognize her, actually. Hey. Why did they just start fighting? Like out of nowhere. <laughs> what I do to you? <laughs> oh shit! God, God, Shaggy. Get wrecked. Oh, Tasmanian Devil? No, hey, you know it. Garnet. Whoa, you all right? Jack! I messed up on that thing. <laughs> Tornado. Yeah. Oh, I think I'd be a Jake user. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> that, 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 that. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oof. Huh, did you just eat him? No, the gig would be fun actually. I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't know what's happening here, but this looks like a job for. Oh. <laughs> All right then, you're with me. <laughs> Why do I feel like Superman can just wreck everybody there? Uh, technically. Nice. I gotta know. I got. I gotta know what you thought. <laughs> um. So I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, we we've seen people try this out with uh, like they they did something similar with uh, PlayStation Heroes or whatever it was called, and it was they actually did something similar with Nickelodeon too. Yeah, and they were sort of flops. They they weren't as good uh, as Smash Brothers, and I think that's that's kind of a that's the bad thing about it is that when you have a game that sort of monopolized that sort of genre um they they put a they, and they put up a high bar now these other games who try to do it, it everybody's just gonna go oh it isn't smash brothers it isn't as good as smash brothers because you have a comparison and sadly that's the effect of it however um you know i'm always willing to give something a try um i actually do know someone who's uh, currently in the in the closed alpha oh and they they tell me it's really good, so high hopes. Plus, it's uh, free to play, from what I understand. I I think so. Yeah, there's just like DLCs and stuff like that. So that's pretty that's pretty um, fun, right? Because you know we're used to paying for these games, and I think 
that's where they're going to get us. Um, the fact that we won't have to pay for the game, for the enjoyment of the that's, game itself. I, I feel like that's a smart idea on their part because they're not dumb. They know Smash exists. So they have to get some way for people to play it. And um, Warner Brothers has such a giant expansion of characters that they can add. Like you could be playing the game and all of a sudden in the future, they're like, oh, like people are... The ratings are slowly going down. Hey, here's the DLC. It's Harry Potter. Right. Bam. Because Warner Brothers owns so much that it's like right. they can release a new character to make you interested again. Right. And we've seen the success of free-to-play games with microtransactions, such as Apex, for example. Huge. I mean, Apex is massive for a free-to-play game. And the amount yeah. of, of money that they generate, uh, you know, besides being a free-to-play game, is ridiculous. And then you have other games like, uh, like for example, I'm going to use this and it's, it's going to be a perfect example, is Pokemon Unite. Um, because it's a free-to-play game, but you want to get all the characters, for example. Or they, they drop new Pokemon every month, for example. Or every two mm -hmm. to three months. And people, you know, they want to get in on it. I One last thing, um, because it's so interesting to me, uh, the way that uh, big franchises listen to like the people and notice what's going on because shaggy. shaggy yeah it's it's so interesting to me that they add something that was a meme it was something that was a joke right and then all of a sudden like they threw out that mortal Kombat commercial mm. where shaggy showed up being all godlike right. and then all of a sudden they're in a video game where shaggy goes god mode and it's like they grabbed the meme and made it real and for some reason now i feel like it's canon <laughs> exactly i was about to say what if it's canon what, what if it's legit now that shaggy just goes super saiyan <laughs> It's so funny, but I, I, I think they're just like watching what like people listen to or people like share. Anyways, I'm super excited about the game. We'll just have to see when Me it too. comes out. Yep, so uh, writers, make sure to like, comment, subscribe on this video if you enjoyed it. If you like content like this or if you're enjoying content like this, make sure to let us know in the comments. That way we can keep making videos like this. Um, and yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this ride <laughs> with us today. And hopefully you'll join us next time, Heron. The, the passenger, passenger seat. seat.